So for number five, I would start by doing my prime factorization. So the prime factorization of 200. is 2 to the third times 5 squared and do a prime factorization of 630 which is 2 times 3 squared times 5 times 7 and since those are both square roots I'm going to put that under one big square root and then look to see if there's any reducing to do. So I have a one two in the denominator and two twos in the numerator. So I can reduce one from the top and bottom, leaving me a two squared in the numerator. In the fives, I have one five in the denominator and two fives in the numerator. So I can reduce one from each of those, leaving me with one five in the numerator. Now I'm going to rewrite this as two separate radicals. Now that I've reduced my fraction as much as I can. So I notice that I have a two squared underneath my square root. So that can become just a regular two outside the square root. Remember the square root of two squared is just two because two squared is four, the square root of four is two. Same thing down here with the 3 squared. I can take that 3 squared under the radical and write it as a 3 outside the radical. And then the last thing I have to worry about is that I have this radical in my denominator. Since I've done all the reducing I can do, the last thing I need to do is just make sure that my answer is properly formatted. To get rid of that square root of 7 in the denominator, I need to turn it into the square root of 7 squared. So I'll just multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 7. That'll give me the square root of 7 times 7, or the square root of 7 squared in the denominator. The square root of 7 squared is just 7, right? Because 7 times 7 is 49, the square root of 49 is 7. And then I'll multiply the stuff inside the radicals in the numerator. So 5 times 7 is 35. And then I'll just multiply the 3 and the 7 together to make 21. And that's it.